If you find that one of VS Code's snippets is getting in the way, you can easily hide it so it doesn't show up in IntelliSense. In this JavaScript file, for example, let's say I want to disable the for in snippet. So when I type out for here, you can see all of the different for suggestions. And this for in one is going to insert a for in loop, but maybe I'm not using it very often, or maybe it's conflicting with one of the other IntelliSense suggestions. To go and hide the snippet, first I'm going to go and open up the command palette with Control Shift P or Command Shift P, and then say insert snippet. And I'm going to run the insert snippet command here. Now I have a list of all the available snippets for JavaScript, and I can actually scroll through this list and click on one of them to insert it. In this case, I'm actually going to start filtering it down by typing, so I'll say for in. And then rather than clicking on the snippet to insert it, I'm actually going to go over here to the little eyeball icon and then go and change its visibility. So when I go and I click on this eyeball icon, you can see that it's now hidden from IntelliSense. And if I go back to the file here and then type out for, you can see that the for in snippet is no longer showing up here. Now let's say that I went and hit a snippet, but I still need to access it, but don't want it showing back up in IntelliSense. Of course, I can always use that insert snippet command again. So again, I'll say Control Shift P or Command Shift P. I'll say insert snippet. And then I could actually go to the for in snippet directly. Again, it is hidden from IntelliSense, but I can still just click on it here to actually go and insert that snippet. You can use this to hide both built-in snippets and snippets that are contributed by extensions. So that's a quick look at how you can remove a snippet from VS Code's IntelliSense suggestions.